Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, I am redoing a Dollar Tree haul. So let's get started. Okay guys, hey, so the first thing I got with this really cute pumpkin table decoration for Thanksgiving, for the fall, so that was awesome. And there wasn't a lot at the Dollar Tree, but some of the things I found I never saw there before. So to start off with, we got some of these Christmas pom-poms. We got some, I had two of them, so we got two of the sparkly ones, and they are 80 pieces each from Crafter Square. So I already used some, you're going to see in a project at the end of the video. And then here is another of 90 pom-poms uh, without sparkle, and then we got some mini bows. So that is really cute because I plan on doing something really adorable with it. So I got some wood pieces, I got big ones this time. Um, a huge snowflake, which is really cool. I'm going to do some paint pouring on there. Yeah, again, I didn't find a whole lot of stuff, but what I did find was really cool. So that was good at least. So we got a another big piece of wood, a Christmas shape of the Christmas tree. So I'm just preparing for Christmas and the holidays, doing some artwork. And then we have another big wood piece of an ornament so I'm gonna do a DIY ornament and I'll do some paint pouring and probably add some other cool stuff to it as well so yes I found these very very cool metal these there are very thin metal pieces and I only found one of them these are one of the items where it was unique because I'd never seen them before at my uh, Dollar Tree so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with them yet but I thought they were really, really, really cool and different for the Dollar Tree. Let's move that out of the way. Next up. Yes, this mini lantern. I only, again, found one. I would have gotten like three or four of them. But you could put little LED lights in the bottom. I thought that was, again, really beautiful and different. And unique for the Dollar Tree and I'll probably just you know maybe paint pour over it decorate it do something really cool so here are some more items so I got these cool glow-in-the-dark beads and I'm just trying to get my camera to focus there it goes he has glow-in-the-dark beads I was gonna use them for Halloween but what I'm planning on using them for is for resin art as a matter of fact and I have a cool shipment coming from uh, BB Craft, so I'm planning on getting some stuff. I bought this stuff for that. So here's some metallic beads. Again, I'm actually going to use them in my resin art because I don't do jewelry. I don't have the patience to bead, so I just got those for my resin art. And these are mini clothespins, and I'm going to use them in my paper crafts. I think those are really cool to attach things to cards or little mini um, booklets and stuff like that. Some of the things I've been making. And here are some fastener dots, like Velcro fastener dots. And you're going to see, um, and this tacky glue is really, really awesome. I really highly, highly recommend it. Some of the best... Um, adhesive I've ever used and it's only for a dollar and I got some just some plain sand and again I'm planning on using this in my resin art I have a lot of resin now so I want to do some of that so all these is for resin up next yes finally I found these these are clear um, Christmas ornaments. Last year, I couldn't find them anywhere. I looked in every single dollar store, Dollar Tree, and I couldn't find them. And I guess I was a little early to the game, and I got some Christmas stuff. I really love this one, and I got a large one. I am going to try and find some more, but for now, I found these. 
So I love this one because you could open it up and I'm going to show you what I have planned to do with it. Just one second because I totally forgot I wanted to show you one more thing. Yes, I got these mini, a mini truck, like Christmas theme, a little miniatures. And what you could do is hot glue it to the bottom here. And then you can make like a snow globe. I'm planning on decorating the inside and the outside. And I think that's really an adorable idea. So that is my plan for those globes. I just love these. I want to find more. There weren't, again, there wasn't a lot available, but I'm going to try and find some more because I think those, it's a really great idea to do DIY ornaments, Christmas ornaments. And this is the ornament I already made. I fell in love with this idea. I paint poured the inside, the inside of the ornament instead of the outside. And I paint poured on the outside of the lid and I add the little pom-poms to the bottom and to the top and all on the sides there now you just saw me do the video and I'll link it right here I used all the tonic studios the little jewel drops and the crystal drops on that ornament and I'm gonna play I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to make your own so here I actually found some cardstock. I saw other people buy this from the Dollar Tree and I never found it. And finally I found some cardstock. So there's three pieces in each um, package. So I got some blue and some cream colors. And that's all they had. They just had two, but I grabbed it. So that's a, a pretty dark blue and a medium blue and a light blue. There's a dark blue. So I got, I was only to get two of them, but at least I found two. So let's move this out of the way so we can get to the next thing. And if you could hear that, there is an ambulance, but welcome to New York, as I always say. <laughs> and so many of my videos. So there's Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas, but I definitely didn't get it from the Dollar Tree. I got this fake faux book and I embellished it again with the Tonic Studios uh, products and see that beautiful gold and then I used some of the papers that I got from Gina from Gina Loves to Craft and I just embellished the back and the sides again with some of the Tonic Studios the crystal drops that's like the copper one and I used the uh, Nouveau Mousse on the uh, edges there and then I used that fastener dots to make a little belly band see right there that's what I used it for and wait for it wait for it there he is there's Jack I made Jack his own little home I just love this project I made and I embellished the back of it and I did stamp it with some stamps like skull stamps and I just add that beautiful paper to the inside of the book so that actually was one of my favorite projects that I did make for Halloween. I actually made it after I put up my last video about Halloween. So sorry about that. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is my video for today. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Bye. Bye. Have a great day.